Good morning, everybody. Oh my God, I screwed up, I screwed up. And truthfully, this could have happened in a house. But, you know, everybody accuses me of saying van life is not all rainbows and unicorns, and I never really talk about the uh, downside of it. So I'm gonna talk and share a couple of my experiences and one not my experience. But let me tell you what the stupid thing I did this, I did it last night. Oh my gosh. Slow down, Terry. I lost all my money. I lost my money. Oh my God. Well, the bank's down the street. I got to go get more. What did Ma Terry do? Where is my purse? Where is my purse? There's my purse. I've checked my purse five times. You've probably done that. It's like it's not in here, Terry. Hopefully it fell behind the cabinet. I don't think so. You know that little voice in your head that says, no, don't do that. You're doing something stupid. Well, last night I went to the restaurant with my good friend Kate and went to pay the bill and I couldn't find this. So I took out my business cards and I took out my, I keep I shouldn't do this. I should keep my money in here. I'm learning how to zipper this better. But I keep my money in a little bank envelope and I put it on the counter. Then I put my purse back in. I put my business cards back in. And the white envelope was the same color as the counter and I didn't see it. Oh my God. Oh. So, but we're in court site. We're, we are in court site. So I called and they said, no, nobody turned in an envelope full of money. So it's like, only to Ma Terry, but you know, I'm lucky. Like I said, I can just go to the bank and get more money, but it's like stupid, stupid, stupid. How could I leave my thing full of money? But okay, so van life, is it all rainbows and unicorns? A lot, I think it's my mentality. Like, um, okay, so here was one problem I had on the road. Well, before I got on the road, uh, Mr. Louie, he was helping me do some modifications and he drilled through my crafting table and he bought me a beautiful table. He really did. But I didn't notice like my little table only weighed like 10 pounds and this table was thicker and maybe twice as heavy. So I put it in the regular spot that my, uh, uh, table sits in right not thinking anything of it and it, I slip it behind the cabinets because I don't want to see a table if I'm not using the cable well I guess I turned this away real quick and boom went all my cabinets and I'm like oh my gosh it pulled the uh what do you call this thing handle out of the thing yeah that's how heavy that uh table was and I guess I turned it too fast so Ah, that was frustrating. That was really frustrating. And uh, before I got sick, you know, I uh, my old air mattress died. I, if you follow the saga of my air mattress dying, you know, it's like I returned one air mattress four times to uh, REI. And it's like, I love that air mattress, but you know, it lasted three, four months and then it died. Well, okay, so this air mattress is off warranty because we bought it before I went camping, months before. Remember, I got really, really sick, so it delayed my camping for a couple of months. The warranty's off. I've only been camping in the van again for uh, maybe a month, and uh, it's dead, it's dead. And the problem with it being dead and I could patch it, but I, I've never patched a air mattress. But the problem with it being dead is all that air keeps me insulated. And right now, uh, quartzite is a little too cold, so cold air is coming up. But that doesn't matter because we're, we were headed towards warmer climates anyhow, weren't we, Miss Lucy? But I am a little disappointed in that air mattress. Um, yeah, the other thing, like you saw my short this morning, why is the VA doing this to me? Why? Um, I did a full, um, this woman was going for her PhD and her thing was, if you saw it at the rubber tramp, uh, problems that you have while on the road with your medical. And you know, I went into so many problems. Like if I go to the VA in San Diego and I know I'm going to travel around the country for four or five months, they will only give me three months of pills. So by the time I get to New Jersey, I'm out of my pills. And if I say, well, give me some more pills, uh, they're like, well, you have to be seen by a doctor and then you have to be re-prescribed. We just can't transfer that prescription. So, oh my gosh, it, VA Medical makes traveling um, 
Hey, write it in the comments below. Are you enjoying VA Medical as much as I am? And I know I shouldn't complain because it's free, but it seems like it's a full-time job. Well, this morning pops up on my phone. Good news, Terry. We know you live in San Diego, but just for fun, we scheduled your dental appointments in uh, Loma Linda. And it's like... So I got to work on canceling them. And believe it or not, I was just on the phone yesterday with the uh, vendor for the dental because they scheduled me eight hours away in St. George. And they're like, well, it looks like you canceled your appointment. And it's like, it shouldn't have been made in the first place. And the other thing is, is I'm not making these appointments. They send it out to a, a third party and they're making the appointments for me. So I maybe it's partly the VA's part, fault but um and it's partly this company's fault but um you know like when I need my prosthetic shoes who they vended out I mean they got zero ratings and it's like they vend out to the worst people so traveling in medical is uh you know really for me it's uh, so frustrating isn't it frustrating Miss Lucy um and then I was so glad with one of my viewers uh, my uh, gas gauge it wasn't recording you know like when I filled it up it wouldn't go up to 400 mile range again and my viewers they really scratched their heads and helped me out thank you guys uh, he one of them wrote in it's probably bad gas well it was bad gas and by the time I it, the whole tank emptied and I had to refill it my gas gauge is working so yay all right oh <laughs> and last night <laughs> I must be stressed. I had a dream that I had a flat tire. Well, you know what? On some BLM land, AAA will come out and help you. Some BLM land, they won't. And thank God I woke up and it was only a dream. Right, Miss Lucy? It was just a bad dream. But uh, yeah, things can go wrong. I'm going to do a full video on uh, one of the people I was camping in. Uh, there is something I won't do. And, uh, you know, he uh, had his whole vehicle set up for him. And... Uh, he ran over a boulder or something, something destroyed his oil pan and he was dripping oil, dripping oil and he broke down in the middle of nowhere. Uh, my heart goes out to him, but um, I have all these strong boundaries of things that I won't do. So, okay, so is that everything? This is just this last month. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everything is fixable. I'm lucky everything is fixable. If uh, one of my uh, friends lost uh, a wallet full of money, you know, an envelope full of money, uh, it would be devastating. She wouldn't be able to move or feed herself or, you know, most people out here are living on a thousand dollars a month or less. And uh, yeah, so uh, that could have catastrophic events. Um, but me, it's like, I usually don't spend money. Quartzite is the time of the year when I do spend money. And thank God I, I missed the bank yesterday. I was gonna refill up my envelope and I something told me just uh, go past the bank and we can do it early in the morning. Oh, thank God for those little warnings. So anyhow, this is my video. It's not all, what do they call it? Unicorns and rainbows living in a van. But you know, uh, the offset is, is we've gotten to meet so many wonderful people, haven't we, Miss Lucy? Yes, we have. That's been uh, the, Plus, you wanna you wanna sit up here? You wanna say hi to Andrea? Huh? You wanna say hi to Andrea? Yes, she does. All right. Um, so there is a downside, but I think uh, for what all I get out of everything, there definitely is a plus. All right, guys, thank you. I hope to see you all down the road and uh, have a great one, okay? Bye.